Hello, I'm Rodrigo Reis from Rio de Janeiro, Brazil, and I'm glad to be here at this video presenting some unique advantages of a new proprietary uh, light curing initiator system. It's called APS, Advanced Polymerization System, which uses a small amount of cafurquinone and uh, associated with all their co-initiators and propagators. Unlike the majority of visible light cured materials which depend heavily on camphorquinone. This APS system has some uh, unique features. They're highly clinically relevant and we're gonna be presenting. APS is available by FGM on dentin adhesives, universal adhesives as well, uh, bulk fill composites, high aesthetic restoratives composites, and visible light cured uh, cements for uh, laminate veneers. Now we're gonna demonstrate uh, the effect of uh, the light from my loop on the working time of composites compared to the composite with APS technology, composite called Vitra. I'm gonna turn my light on with the filter. I'm gonna dispense a small amount of composite. We'll try to dispense equal amounts of each brand. This is not actual research. This is just a demonstration and an attempt to replicate what happens on the clinic. So we're getting another brand of composite. Approximately the same amount over here. Trying to keep as much as possible the amber filter towards them. And getting a third brand. We're gonna check for plasticity. All of them. Okay, accommodate them fairly close to each other, all having adequate plasticity. I'm gonna remove the filter, which usually you don't do this in the clinic, we'll prematurely polymerize the composite, but it's nice to work on a well illuminated field rather than a yellow orange field. This composite already right, is starting to cure, see? Vitra keeping its plasticity, this one is gone. about to gone as you may see in vitra fairly plastic this one is gone vitra still possible to work with it and again what you may conclude out of this is that uh, even in the extreme light uh, Vitra APS has a uh, quite longer working time than traditional composites that solely depend on confrontinome as a photo initiator. Now we're gonna test the effect of a uh, well illuminated operatory field on bulk fill restoratives. One worldwide well known bulk fill restorative and the other one Opus bulk fill with the proprietary APS technology. So I'm gonna turn on my loop light with the amber filter. Gonna try to dispense for this demo equal amount of composite as close as possible. Check for plasticity. Gonna remove my filter. Wait a few seconds. This one is starting to lose plasticity. Gone. APS still doing fine. So you have a little extra time under a uh, well illuminated operatory field to remove the excess when you're carving your bulk fill composite. 
See, this is hard. This one is still a little bit of plasticity. And even under a strong setting of my loop light, this can be dimmed to a low intensity, you have even more working time. So this is a clear advantage for you who like to work with packables, uh, to have the APS technology will give you extra working time. Now we're gonna again demonstrate the effect of a uh, well illuminated operatory field without the amber, yellowish, orange filter on the light cured cements for veneers. It's extremely important to have long working time with veneers, cements, because uh, when you bond your veneers, you have extrusion of cement beyond the margins and you wanna be able to get rid of this excess cement before your light curing. So if you're working with a filter or not a well illuminated operatory field, this might uh, jeopardize the clear vision and you might leave more excess than you want and have a hard time later on getting rid of that. So I'm gonna turn on my light, place the filter. If I was in the office, I would have to exchange gloves back and forth, so waste time, waste more gloves, that's another thing to point out. And uh, I'm gonna dispense all some veneer. APS technology it has quite a nice tixotropic flow, so it stays kind of put, but uh, still very easy to work with. I'm gonna add another well-known laminate veneer cement, a little bit more runny. It's a matter of uh, preference. Both of plasticity, and I'm gonna remove my filter. So it's still working time. This one's starting to lose a little bit of flow, see? Increase the light intensity. See, you lost the flow for cement. Just to crumble. And over here, still nice. Then again, zap it with the light. This one. Need to zap it, but it's already all has surpassed its working time. Now we're gonna demonstrate uh, the effect of uh, APS technology on the color of uh, adhesives. Now of uh, amber APS and in sequence we're gonna add a drop of another well-known adhesive on our dispensing well. As you may see one has a uh, transparent color APS and uh, the other one has quite a yellowish appearance and we're gonna zap it with the light and uh, even after that you'll see there's a quite a slight difference, meaning a transparent adhesive is more beneficial when you're doing aesthetic dentistry.
So, after these demonstrations on uh, composites with APS system and uh, worldwide brands uh, that uh, are camphorquinone based, dependent, we were able to perceive clearly uh, some key features and advantages. First of all, uh, composites with APS, you don't see uh, a color mismatch or difference comparing before light curing and after light curing. This is a clear advantage so you can get the more aesthetic predictability on your result. Usually the composites, they are heavily dependent on comfort known they are yellowish in appearance and you have a color shift uh, after light curing. So uh, this uh, reduces your predictability on the color uh, selection. Also, having total etch and universal adhesive that are uh, transparent, you'll have uh, no interference color interference on the extremely thin uh, ceramic restorations. The adhesives that are camphorquinone based for as a sole initiator, uh, they tend to, even after light queuing, have a somewhat of a yellowish appearance. So this might generate some static interference. Having a transparent adhesive system is a clear plus to this. And uh, also, as we have seen, uh, extremely uh, longer working time under a well-illuminated operatory field, even on the light unit from your chair, or uh, light uh, from your loop. APS composites have significantly more working time under this well needed operatory field. This means that uh, you don't need to add a uh, orange filter, which jeopardizes a little bit of your visualization. And uh, you can work, you don't have to move your operatory light from your field. So you can work uh, under the light finish your material, leaving uh, the least amount of excess, your restoration all set with liberty of working on a well-illuminated operatory field.